Oh, hi everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Helen today, along with... Visa Mud Lieutenant Drakir at your third Visa Ahem. Yeah, right. <laughs> Give me a sec on that. I need the correct headgear for this. Yeah, yeah, give me a sec. And there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How's that? Was Pekko, but the game that works also for this game. <laughs> well, this is the dark side detective, after all. Oh, so I mean, might as well do double duty. For fuck, I have. I actually used to wear a hat like this for a short while. I think I have one of those lying around somewhere. Emphasis on somewhere. Oh, I think I, I, I see where it is. Uh, I have a big plushie of Tom the Cat from Tom and Jerry with the company and Jerry on my uh, wardrobe, and he's wearing the hat. I'll actually of make course. a picture and send it to you quickly. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. And yeah, for anyone going to ask, those two were... Literal birthday gifts, as in when I was born, those were gifted to my uh, mother and father for me. And, well, yeah, those things are 30 years old. <laughs> Go fuck yourself if you say I should get rid of them. In this case, those are more family hell whom as long as you wash the well kept. Yeah. Okay, last time, uh, we... G <laughs> last time we continue... Well, Last time we ran short with one game, so we started with this one. And this means that this will be the first full stream of this game. Where, well, this game is basically uh, X-Files mixed together with a bit of Monty Python. <laughs> Almost. There's a lot of reference as well, don't forget that. Yeah. So yeah, let's continue with Tome Alone, where we're investigating a haunted library and walking around with a Enchanted Viewmaster. <laughs> okay. Yeah, last time, we, well, we solved a bunch of issues. We were basically exercising the place, as in getting the ghost to get the hell out. But now, uh, the librarian is missing. So, yeah. where did she go? Or was she ever here in the first place? Dun, dun, dun. Well, yeah, they ever gonna be surprised if they do that. Uh, oh, hello. What's all this noise? I can't hear myself read. So, kid, what do you know about the other side of that vent? Oh, that's the skull that we dropped through it. And it's tipped over <laughs> the chair with the, the teddy bear on it. I, I didn't mean to do it. Do what? I was lonely, so I went exploring. I found all these neat new books. But the one I read was scary and I ran off. Then the ghosts arrived. But I like them, because now I have friends. See? He meant no harm. Troublemaker! Arrest him! Breaking and entering! Uh, it's a public... <laughs> it's a public building. There is no... Well, once it's closed, yes, but it's not closed at the moment. Oh, hello. Alright, I forgot. Uh, yeah. Since uh, since I yeah, since with borderless gaming, the uh, achievements have a tendency to pop up in the corner of my monitor instead of the corner of the uh, game. I've set up a little something to uh, well catch those as well. But I forgot there's also chatty pop-ups in there, so I guess we can see other people going online there now as well. <laughs> oh no! Uh, let's see. Is there a way for me to change that that it shows them? somewhere else or something or just doesn't show them at all uh, I'll need to look at that some other time and yes it is right next to this the Chetty program is right next to this viewing area right here as well can be seen with that actually uh, hmm yeah well We'll just, I'll have to figure that out some other time to have to fix that. Or I just, maybe I can move the achievement pop-ups to somewhere else or something and have it, that area be a uh, chroma keyed. Anyways, so the, uh, yeah, public building, he can't, unless it's out there, outside of operating hours, yeah, it's not breaking and entering. <laughs> Into your room of illegal books. Let's say both uh, set of charges cancel each other out. 
Only if you get rid of the ghosts and find him somewhere else to go once in a while. You can join me in the Blood Wolves. Uh, uh, right, your, your line. Before I read, I'm just going to do something first here. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Let's see if I can do a better voice acting this time. He can join me in the Blood Wolves. Blood Wolves? They made you stop paying the dip, dip, dip tax, so we had to change from scouts. If there's a red, I'm not getting it, I think. You okay with that, kid? Sure. That's great. But uh, motorcycle outside. But back to the task at hand. We need to stop energy flowing into the building and into that book. You need to get to the light uh, to the lightning conductor on the roof. Here, I have the key. Julie, we're going to the roof. But it's raining outside. <laughs> Probably raining why after plasma. Oh, why is it that the accent and voice I go to when trying to imagine how he talks? <laughs> because well, he's I a doofus. I'm stuck with it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, here we go. Come on. I suppose I already ducked out of one room this case. I never played that card too soon. <laughs> you did, buddy. You did. Okay. More of the wiring from the secret room, and it leads to the roof. Why is this? Why is the secret roof being powered by a lightning conductor? Do you need me to go all the way up there? Scared of heights? No. Yes! <laughs> Ooh, hello! <laughs> Tesla would be proud! So, what do I need to do? Get down as soon as possible! Looks like the circuit is connecting the book downstairs to, the air to this aerial. I guess I should break that circuit, then wire the aerial to the lightning rod so the power has somewhere... Yeah, it has some yeah, it has somewhere to go. Okay, so it's a little pipe puzzle. Do I we need to not they just have like the conductors on them? And is at least some areas where they like mountains and such for lightning to strike. Ah. But actually yeah, most building high tall buildings have lightning conductors, but do they really look like that? Uh, not like a Tesla rods, no. Okay, and it, it's like a sliding puzzle. So we get that in there. You almost had it. You was you were like one piece away. Let's see. I think it would be a little bit more complicated than that. And yep, there we go. Oh. Okay. You have to connect that one. All right. Yep. Ouch, my hands. Look, detective, if the storm is dying out, imagine that. Okay, we should be able to close the book now. And close the book on this case. So, yeah, over here, in there. Okay. Case closed. <laughs> or is it? Uh, yes, it is. Thrice field detected. Joe, I don't see why we had to take all those books. Duly, they're contraband. Heavy contraband. Give me a moment. Moving, moving my bottle of water, which still has yep yep condense on it, and that doesn't that doesn't agree with my mouse mat. We have an agreement, then, Doris. You don't find me for having the books, I don't sue the kid for entering the vault, I go back to business, sounds haunting. You should also get that wiring fixed. Ah, oh, fine. Come on, Dooley, let's get back to the office. See you at camp, Mr. Dooley. See you there, kid. Nope. See you there, Devin. Okay. Yeah, and my little trick works. Though at the moment it's... 
Oh, it's overshadowing me, so let me correct that. Yeah. And again, I apologize for my voice actor to character. And I just try and I'm trying to do a good voice editing here, and I'm not professional, but I'm trying, so I, I do apologize if that does sound annoying or worse. Yeah. Well, if it's too annoying, we'll definitely hear about it from someone. <laughs> uh, there we go. That should be behind me. Click somewhere else so it doesn't have the red lines all over OBS for, for Kier to see. Let's see. Disorient Express. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Orient Express. Dooley has called me to the subway station to deal with an emergency. Did he forget his uh, pass? <laughs> Let's see. Let me finish chewing. In the meantime, I'll send you that picture then. Oh, that, that actually... <laughs> oh, I actually for a moment thought there was a car going behind me or something. <laughs> oh, good gods. L look at the background. Uh, 666 Street. Oh dear. All right, let's see. <clears throat> Detective, you're here. Give me as soon as it calls. What's the case? Case? No, I just needed the ride. Station's closed. Closed? Yeah, some spooky train is blocking the platform. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> A spooky train. Yep, spooky train. Anyway, we better get going or we will be late to work. I'm pretty sure we're at work right now. <laughs> Dooley, it's a spooky train. We're the dark side division. Do you not think... I try not to. That's detective work. Let's go have a look then. Fine. If we... But if we miss the free donuts at work, you're buying. Why uh, is my insta go Scottish with him? <laughs> I'm still not sure if it's Scottish or not I'm using here. Now, Dooley does sound like a bit like it's Scottish or something, though it, if it was McDooley, then it was definitely Scottish. Oh dear. Are you sure we can't just go to work? I need to get my morning nap in. Dooley. Uh, this is the moment I feel like people will have a fun time seeing my reaction to move to the center something I uh, actually read out while doing a little bit of a what the fuck face. Yeah. I can't say I'm surprised to find that something strange is happening here. Okay. Let's get on with this waste of time. Nothing happening here. Investigation done. I get the feeling they actually put someone out on uh, a street somewhere and had them just pull out a microphone for street noises. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, really? Not as dumb as your grammar, kid. Yeah, kid. Dooley? <laughs> oh, is, if, if it was Dooley that made this... <laughs> Then it's basically a confession, though you could scratch off the S. <laughs> Seems to be working, but I have no cash. Time to put this badge to work and make uh, use of my police privileges. Okay, nothing else here. A, a flickering light. Flickering lights always suggest spooky hijinks. Do we? Do you use that subway often? No, before we had the squad car, I tended to take taxis. That's <laughs> not... <coughs> what? What? Did you say something just then? What? Me? No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, God. I don't think taxis are considered snobbish, especially with how uh, bad some of them can be, but they are also freaking pricey, I believe. Yeah. And also, I do know I read a bit, a bit wrong there earlier, just so people are aware. I, I did know I read it wrong from one uh, sentence earlier. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see. 
Oh no, detective, the barrier is broken. We have to crawl under it. Can we at least jump over? No, the insurance for young was too high. We're gonna clear. We we only got cleared for a slow crawl. <laughs> Being a cop is like nothing like television promised it would be. Yep, hello. And we've got a busker, or a street art, uh, artist, street musician in this case. Hmm. Thank you, Sam. I want you to know about the truths I'm here to show. <laughs> so, me <laughs> so it makes me frown when I smell like a pig and his dumb sidekick coming in to shut me down. Sidekick isn't the word. Poetic license. <laughs> I just noticed the name. Uh, pig. Oh dear. Hello. You have a ticket, sir. Sir, who are you? Train's conductor, sir. Right. You look a tad uh, ghostly, sir. That I do. That I do. Are you a ghost? Not at all, sir. Ghosts are blue, for one. And they can't be seen, not without the proper equipment. No, we're from the dark side. Then what are you doing here? Train stock, sir. Do my job to keep the passengers safe while this gets rectified. Rectified? Yes, sir. I'm sure those boys from the Bright Side Division are looking into it right now. Bright Side Division? Bright Side Division. Right. So either, either he means us or the Dark Side has their own Dark Side Division, but it's Bright Side instead. <laughs> okay, um, curious. Why are you here? As I said, sir, train stuck. Not sure what caused it. Likely a problem with the track, sir. Would have, you know, would have to see inside the control rooms to be sure, but I can't leave my post here. Take it. Thought not. I'm afraid I'll have you ask. <laughs> I'll have to ask you solids to leave. Did you just call us solids? Certainly not, sir. I wouldn't be throwing around language like that. <laughs> okay, we're dealing with bigot ghosts. Come back anytime, sir. Okay, so we're going to have to get a ticket. And the busker does does not seem to care about what he's seeing. Uh, okay, I know I need to ask you something. Is your cat Oscar's full name Oscar the Smug? <laughs> not the Smug, more sm the Red. <laughs> but it told me though they they always have a smug expression. Hmm. Yeah, I, I I think it was meant that more with cats in general. <laughs> Let's see. I wonder if this camera caught any useful footage, but I can see that the working light is painted on. Plunger, but without the plungy bit. That's just a stick. Oh, there's a stick then! Yep. Or a handle. Uh, if I got to talk to Dooley here. See, it's just spooky. Generally spooky. Nothing special about it. Let's go get donuts. Dooley, it's glowing. Maybe it's pregnant. Seriously? Uh. Dooley, I'm your voice actor, and I'm questioning your sanity a lot. Why do they have a, a bone room? That's a spanner, not a bone. Why would they have a bone room? What even is a bone room, Dooley? That's a conversation you need to have with your parents, detective. <laughs> yeah, I think people can uh, hear when I just... Flabbergasted? It, yeah, uh, duly... <laughs> uh. Hmm, there seems to be something in here. Receipts? Okay, that's a glowing receipt. A glowing green receipt that says for pickup. I can't read much much else on it. Yeah. Could that work as our tickets? Yeah. The control room is locked. What a no. Dooley. Ah, come on, Detective. You know, uh, you know as well as I do how these things go. True. <laughs> is it, Dooley's not as dumb as he appears sometimes, but he. He does it's make one question a lot of things. 
about yeah, him I think it's more well. experience. Yeah. <laughs> and there goes Beanie's pet. I need to get my eyebrows plucked. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> Spooky hoverer? Um, hi there. Oh, sorry, the door was unlocked. Yeah, lock's broken. I have no feet to hold against it. Right, well, uh, I'll leave you to it. Well, hold up, Daddy-o. I'm in a bit of a funky situation. Maybe you, you could help me out? Oh, uh, what is it? Stole has no toilet paper, Daddy-o, and I'm a cat that <laughs> needs him some. <laughs> yeah, uh, sure. Sure, we can look. Or we give him the receipts for that. <laughs> uh, I don't feel comfortable with any of this. You and me both, Daddy-o. Also, you do have feet, you just don't have the reach. Also, this is a big freaking <laughs> stall. Uh, what on earth is that? Not sure, but I think we should send it back to wherever it came from. Flush. No use. You could say that it's a in intent. Give me a moment if it is from. You could say that it's intentacle. Intentacle. <laughs> intentacle on staying where it is. <laughs> eh, eh, eh. That was a st <laughs> that was a stretch from the Himalayas to New York, Dooley. I need to find something to push it down with. What are you gonna do, Detective? I don't know. I need to find something to force him down with. I'm pretty sure this is a reference to uh, Day of the Tentacle, because purple and green. Yeah, and also, I think I actually think they did something. I think I almost went into Demo Man from Team Fortress 2. <laughs> uh, two more of these and I can have a mediocre juggling act. Let's see, will that work? Doesn't feel right to me. Yeah, it'll, it'll probably just grasp it and smack us with it. That's some lazy graffiti. I always put in more effort when tagging the subways. What? <laughs> you heard me, Nark. <laughs> what? Wait. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. So much to cl uh, clarify to me here. Ain't Nark a slang for drug addicts? For drug uh, dealers? No, it's, it's more for, uh, like, a tattletale, someone who would tell, and and such. Oh. Basically, sell out, sell them out to the cops. Okay. Let's see. It wouldn't be a dodgy underground bathroom without a flickering light. It also wouldn't be a sacred rave venue. Venue. Hmm. What was that? Nothing, detective. So, Dooley is a raver. <laughs> yeah, we need that. Creepy or not, nobody, uh, nobody deserves to be stranded without toilet paper. That noise reminds me of my career since I was assigned to the Dark Side Division. I think it is more likely his career went up when he went in sent here. Okay. Here you go, guy. Sorry to leave you hovering for so long. Far out, daddy -o. Here, take this coin as thanks. A cold coin. Okay, I guess that is what we're going to use to get a ticket. An evil-looking coin, about the size of a quarter. Okay. Hmm. How can we get this open? Also, let's see if this works. There's another chance in hell that this will work. Oh, right. Of course. <laughs> you receive item tickets. <laughs> well, it's a coin from hell, so uh, I guess it works. <laughs> My other idea was to give it to the busker. 
I never heard of Busker before. I, I think it's just a... And I'm th I guess it's a more official term or something, or maybe slang for just general street artistry people or street musicians and such. Yeah, I'm used to street artists and street musicians. <clears throat> Here you go, one ticket. Fine, on you go then, I suppose. Okay. Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm getting the fact I'm getting a big feeling that this uh, train is from the 60s <laughs> because we have a hippie, we have a party guy, uh, we'll have to see about granny. I like your glasses. Duh, they're my party glasses. They're my party yeah, they're, they're my yeah, party goggles. On your way to a party? Always, darling. Everything is party place when I have my goggles on. And I always have my goggles on. Is that supposed to be a thick German accent or something, or uh, Austrian? No, no, Unsh or maybe? Uh, I don't know if it's supposed to be Slavic or German. I'm, I'm leaning Slavic because I'm getting a bit of a Schwarzenegger feel from this <laughs> talk. Schwarzenegger is not escort. Slavic. <laughs> uh, let's see. Even here now, we party on the train. A Russian. Okay. Oh wait, yeah, for if it was Yummy would be die, not da. Yeah. Ever is everyone here is so sick looking. They're not sick, they're transparent. I can see right through them. I always been impressed with your scrutiny skills. <laughs> Hippie gal? Well hello there. Hiya. Where are you from to? Uh, no. I misread that horribly. Where are you off to? I was my way to San Fran San Frankenstein years ago, obviously. But then we got stuck here. This place is terrifying. I was half expecting her to say Woodstock. How so? Well, for a start, there is not a single screaming beast in the sky, nobody is being followed by Shadow Man, and nothing is on fire. Nothing. Maybe you're not the girl for me. <laughs> it's uh, Wednesday Adam's long-lost twin. <laughs> the one that was exiled for being too hippie. Nanny Dooley? Is that you? Sorry, dearie. I'm Granny Gooley. <laughs> You do look like my little Patrick, though. My name is Patrick, too! Did you also like games of I Spy as a child? I did. I Spy with my little eye, the coming of the end, the world eating itself, rivers of gore flooding the streets. I don't... I don't know this version of the game. Oh, seeing the end times was little Patrick's favorite. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's definitely, uh... Yeah, the dark side is definitely a reflection in the hello. Ah, a dark side portal. It appears we found our number one suspect for all of, you know, all of these, the, all these strange going-ons. Oh, hello, Pyroso, uh, Pyrosu, or however I'm supposed to say that. Uh, let's see. Hey, what's going on, man? Good to see you. Thank, thank you for being here. And things are going well, I'd say. And with you? Yeah, so far. And yeah, this game that we're playing is the Dark Side Detective, which, well, is fitting since, well, Spooktober and such. This game was literally made by a group called Spooky Doorway. Uh, Pyro Sui. Okay. Let's see. You have the right to remain silent when questioned. Anything you say or do may be... Dooley, what are you doing? We need rights. And how exactly do you intend to arrest it? With my handcuffs, obviously. That marks for enthusiasm, Dooley. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is a bit of a comical X-Files thing. 
with, well, our detective Frank McQueen and, uh, Dooley. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is very, it is very satire. Well, this totally can't go wrong. Oop. Looks like the Purple Rift has an accomplice. I'm going to need a second... I'm going to need a second pair of handcuffs. Agent McScream. You look familiar. Does the fire recognize the flame? Does the darkness recognize the shadow? Does the storm recognize the... the... wind? Rain? Damn it, man, I've lost my train of thought. <laughs> so, you're an agent here, huh? We are all yeah. agents of the never-ending hunt. Hmm? For, for a moment, I thought you stopped reading the text and were speaking normally, but that sounded like a little sentence you could say normally. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Servants of the air crawling death voids. Ministers of the world's cruelty. Well, I'm happy you're doing okay for yourself. Thanks, it's been a lot of hard work and late nights at the office. <laughs> Any idea what's going on? Interlopers, feeds, fleshy monstrosities. Things that should not be have come to pass. Tracks of chaos intertwine. So, not much of an idea right now then? No. <laughs> so, receding hairline, how's that, how's that treating you? <laughs> the end comes for us all. Entropy is a cruel mistress. Yeah, let's hope it's from the growing up in this weird hole. <laughs> he has a beard and mustache, whereas McQueen doesn't, but he... <laughs> McQueen has good hair, but his is receding. Oh okay. dear. Goodbye. Ah, I'd best be going. We'd all best be going to the places uh, we would best be at. Yeah. Dooley? This one, this one sh heck, <clears throat> this one heck of a light show they've got going on down here. Dooley, they're portals to the dark sides. We're in the dark side right now. Of course it's dark. We're on the ground. That's probably why we've lit it up like this. <laughs> oh, we can actually investigate this then. Oh. Oh, I see what's going on. <laughs> the train got swapped. Oh, hey, Rexa! Finally, someone, uh, somebody in authority. Hey! Sorry, guy, but you don't know any more than the rest of us. Hi, detective. What's going on? Rexa? Why are you here? Getting the train home from college, and then we got diverted to wherever this is. Well... Well, we are out on this case now, so get comfortable. It's a subway. It's impossible to get comfortable. He means... Oh, yeah, I get it. Let me know if I can help at all. Will do. Uh, headphones. Hello? Do da dee. I wonder if he even knows what's going on. In case of fire, pray somebody has refilled the extinguisher. <laughs> <laughs> they have not. I'm pretty sure you can't actually refill these, those. Not at, no, not at your home, at least. Yeah, you, I think when you return them, they can. Uh, they will give a new one, but they will refill the old one and send it elsewhere. I think. Could it's be. Been a while. I should probably see about getting myself one of those small ones because we do have at least two fire extinguishers in the home. I think three. But all of them are pretty old, so just in case, I think I'll get one of those little hand things. Just in case. Stay back, monster. Bro, well, calm down. Sorry, I thought you were him. Him? The intense man in the tunnel who threatens to arrest and or eat anyone who gets off the train. Arrest or eat? Yep, I'm not sure who chooses. What's going on here? You're not... you're not really him. I... I don't really know what happened. We left the last station on time, then some weird fla... Then some weird lights flashed, and we were... Uh, yeah, and now we're here. Wherever here is. 
Who's this man you keep talking about? He... He looks a bit like you. Only not. Not at all now that I see you. Properly see you. He stalks about outside the train, sniffing for clues and snarling when he sees us. Has he hurt anyone so far? Thankfully, no. He seems more menacing than dangerous. Okay. If you need anything else, I'll be here. Sorry about the mix-up earlier. Yeah, just, just look for the head... <laughs> for the hairline, with, if it's back or forth. Hey, dude, we've been on this train for ages. What's going on? I'm afraid... Because I keep seeing floating green people. I'm not a liber... <laughs> I think I indulged a little too much this morning. You probably shouldn't tell me that. I'm an officer of the law. Bro, out, dude. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah, he's in another dimension <laughs> entirely on his own. Oh, dear God. I should probably stay with these people. Make sure they are okay. You're tired of walking through the tunnels, aren't you? Stop using your Sherlock... Stop using your Sherlock powers on me! Oh, hello. Ghost cop. I want to be more louder there, but I don't want to be disturb people around me. <laughs> Chief Ghouly. Now then, now then, now then. You look like one of those living folk who uh, we've got plodding about the place right now. Officer Dooley? Name's Gooley, Chief of the Brightside Division. Brightside? Division. Specialists. Deal with threats from your neck of the woods, so, so as to speak. <laughs> of course, the ultimate Dooley is hyper-competent. My neck of the woods? The other world, that which from whence you came, son. I surmise from your appearance that you are the detective? Albeit one down on his luck. Hey, I presume that being the case, you've crossed over to investigate your world's version of this switch uh, situation. I am. Can you help? No, son, I cannot. This isn't your jurisdiction. You should leave this to us professionals and make uh, care and uh, take care of our train back in your uh, in your own world. Shouldn't you look into that? Jurisdiction, son. Seems like a concept beyond the dangerous yeah, maverick such as yourself. Maybe I should slap you behind bars. I'm pretty sure in this world we could just walk for the bars. And it's of course, like he was talking oh, down good. to you or something. He definitely is. So either this is the ultimate ghoulie who, well, instead of looking up, looks down, or this is go <laughs> this is Dooley's uh, alternate father or something because he he talks like he's way older. We don't know how old uh, Dooley is. Sing me a song, buddy. What? You're the busker, not me. That's how buskers work here, you tourist. <laughs> a freaking course. What? <laughs> this is a restricted yeah, area. Classified personnel only. Are you classified personnel? No, I didn't think so. On account of myself and Extreme being the only ones yeah, who has. So unless you, know, you is one of us, I suggest you sp step back, son. Step back. Okay, Wait, can we go upstairs? I recognize that it's pattern. Is no. A, it's a bit of an act. He's a southerner. Okay. I think, I think they tried to emit a southern accent. Just It wasn't really clear. Again, okay, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Yeah. And... Of course, the exit sign is more like a zombie. <laughs> Let's see. Is this... Is this machine crying? Also, we get, since things are a bit backwards here, not in the usual way, do we give a ticket to the machine? No. Come get me from the station, he said. Routine, he said. Ass. <laughs> Let's see. Up then there's one of the sky beasts. It hurts my eyes to look. Most of the dark side city appears to be in ruin. Okay, can we catch the thing? Shop. What the hell was that? Oh, look skyward, spot this dark side sky beast. 
Given how little I know about this place, how about how this place worked, they should sell cost. You know, they could sell costumes or turn you into one. <laughs> I'm on fire. What on earth? <laughs> I'm a burning trash barrel. I meant to be on fire, you gonk. Look at your face. Brilliant. I'm. I'm not even. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Trains do not run on time, they run on fuel. Trains will also be late. Some things are universal, I suppose. <laughs> Let's see. What horrors could possibly make the news here? Mayor points off camera. Okay. What? Okay, what? I'm. <laughs> Guybrush? Pretty sh Oh, biker, not... Okay, I was thinking this was for Solid Snake or something, and this Aim. is from, uh... One of oh, the Wizardry I games or something. Or no, not Tom Wizardry, Hill? just another game. I play the Wizardry games, and this is not that. Uh, for Wizardry games are not point-and-click. Yeah, I remember a point-and-click game where you play as a character in a purple robe. Yeah, I, I know who you think of. I actually been trying to figure out which game that was for. I actually had a demo yet on the, believe it or not, an Amiga. I, I know there was a before it and probably fell uh, went bankrupt. I think there was a game called Simon the Sorcerer, but he is dressed in red and yellow. I think, not purple. Hey, let's take like a look. Are you thinking of Ri Ringswood? I think now yeah, there's another one that's not. It's just not Rinswood who's dressed like that. But I, it's, I think they're called Simon the Sorcerer or something like that. Something alliterative. They had a 3D game that completely killed off the franchise. Let's hmm. see. <clears throat> Amaze your friends, surprise your enemies, confuse real pirates with this ineffective <laughs> pirate ensemble. <laughs> Comes with their free press ganging. Be a badass biker, bike not included. Are you still a biker without a bike? Be a badass walker. <laughs> Assuming your ass is bad, either in the dangerous sense or the missing a buttock all the way, your call. Did you write these adverts yourself? No, sir. Came that way, sir. Good words, uh, ain't they, sir? A snarky teenage wizard is welcome anywhere. Well, not so much welcomed as he'll turn up and then he'll be there and it's almost as much a hassle to get rid of him as it is to just leave him be. <laughs> That's my usual party vibe anyway, so two thumbs up from me. Oh dear. Let's see, punk wig. Just like a punk or a road warrior from the future. Or, um, could you wear this and be a, I don't know, a carrot? <laughs> well, I'm convinced. Mad Max, wig and mustache. What's this one? Looks normal enough to me. Normal, sir. Th why? That's the very pillar. Uh, that's yeah, that's the very pillar. Summers are built on, sir. A friend and mentor to those who need. A shoulder to cry on. A person who will live in a wood hut with no air conditioning. The legendary camp counselor, sir. <laughs> okay. Nobody would buy that as a camp counselor. Oh, but I do, sir. It's the mustache, sir. It uh, shows him to be rugged uh, Wilderman, suited for the rough and tumble life of a, com a camp counselor. Not for a timid folk like you and I, sir. No, sir. Not for shop vendors and coat warmers, no. <laughs> okay, tell me what you really think of me. Let's see, it's full, it's full of ones and zeros. How could anyone wear these? Say, sir, while wearing a <laughs> bin bag. Come on, guy, this is a nice coat. And they say the customer is always right. <laughs> bits, because bits are zeros and ones. Anyways, oh dear. let's have a talk. An invisible person. Welcome, sir. It's our, that is to say, me and I's pleasure to welcome you to Custom Shop. So that's the name. Your broken sign wasn't very clear. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, my old uh, fella said. And if it's broken, maybe don't fix it anyway, he he'd add. Very practical man he was. 
How can I help? How can I aid you, sir? Trying to intimidate your direct superior at work? Hoping to wow a six-armed lover? Tired of looking like a hobo? <laughs> hey, that's our motto. Whatever your shame, Spider's got you covered. Wait, what? <laughs> sir, I'll ask you mighty nice not but once. Keep your sausage fingers from my money box. <laughs> okay. Wait, is this from here? One tick, sir. Oh, miss. Miss Biscotti. I does beg your pardon, miss. I should have known. Obvious to me now it is. <laughs> I'll get your items for you now, miss. Oh, um, yes, thanks. And here you go, miss. One swim cap. Thanks, I guess. Okay, with this, with Guybrush being here, I get get the feeling that is partially referencing the time he had to cross grass to get into a party. Let's see, anything else here? An almost skin-colored swimming cap. Okay, so we're what? to appear bold with that. I almost thought that was a thing. I never liked those uh, swimming caps. They look hmm. so uncomfortable. Do we use those on ourselves? Let's see, I need to find something to complete this disguise before I put it on. Okay, disguise. Wait, what? Hmm. Let's see, Raxa. Any update, Detective? Still investigating, Raxa. Okay, well, if I can be of help. Hmm. Anything new? No. Okay, we're going to have to get the cranes to move into each other's place and close the portal, however the hell that's got her in the first place. <coughs> hmm. Let's see, there's a leaky pipe. Apple oh one, how's my boy Dooley doing? Hello and welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? And uh, Dooley is uh, surviving, even though he does need to be reminded to breathe every now and then. Oi. <clears throat> it's... What do we do now? I think we have all of the items we can collect at the moment, so where do we use what? Let's see, I don't think we have anything of use here. Let's see, we probably oh, wait, just check this place out. Welcome there, uh... <laughs> Oh, yeah, uh, the text is too small for me to read. Cap Hello? <laughs> Cap 01? Uh, Cap 01, it, 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 the name is. Uh, let's see, he's doing his best, which is to say, not work in any way, but to fight the funnies. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, call me Cap. Okay. I uh, hope you're doing well today. Hello? Um. Let's see. Cap, yeah, that's, that's probably easier to, for me to say and see. <laughs> Oh, drip. That water smells fun. Yep. Hey! Hey! I... <laughs> Don't make me hit you a second time. But well, third. <clears throat> that water smells funky. It's sewer water, Dooley. There's no excuse for poor hygiene. Come on. Do we need to fill that with water? No. Okay, we're going to need to get into the control room somehow. I get the feeling we're missing an item. Do we need to... I guess I need to catch the rat somehow or something? It, yeah, using a club on a rat would be mean. Yeah. Hmm. Wait. Cap, stick. Nothing left to take. Can you combine the hat and the stick? Nope. Are you still here? Hey. Yes. I'm grateful I'm for your help, Daddy. Do you intend to stick around for the main show? No. Hmm. And I'm missing something somewhere. Hmm. Yeah, what the heck are we missing? It's... 
Let me look around the dark side version again. We've talked to everyone, and I don't really think we can get new information out of people, unless something else has been hap has happened already. Hmm. Warning sign. Hmm, <clears throat> pardon? Let's see. If you find yourself in a parallel dimension, please stay in the carriage. An oddly useful warning. Okay. Hmm. I very much doubt. Yeah. Something to do with this thing. I'm just, I'm just going to throw uh, items at other things and see if anything works. Oh, mold. A dark patch of fuzzy molds. I think it's looking at me. And we get fuzzy mold. Oh, I see where we're going. Now I guess I can dress up as Agent McScream whenever I want. Yay? Oh no! <laughs> this guy's. He's not that bald. Let's let's do it right in front of him. Time to try this. I can't bring myself to call it the disguise. Time to try whatever this is. <laughs> this is out, I guess. <laughs> do you think, son, that I've not seen my fair share of disguises? This one is particularly poor. <laughs> what? What would it be partially made of? They're made up of some fungus, and you lacking a certain floaty, transparent quality. Well, it was worth a shot. It was. I wish that agent I uh, sent. Uh, I wish that agent I was sent was so innovative. I tell you what, son. In you go. Maybe you can solve this thing after all. <laughs> what is about jurisdiction? Um, jurisdiction. Oh, paperwork up a solution. No, or if you, or if you, or if you. Oh, hop up before I change my mind. <laughs> right, thanks. Uh, in this world, McStream is the dimwit. <laughs> is he <it laughs> supposed to be a reference to Rest in Peace Department? Mm, I've never really watched that. I, from what I heard, it was bad. And I, I guess it came out before this game, though I forget when that was exactly. So maybe... As it is, I was. It's it's fun. Like it's not great in storyboard, but it's it's one of the ones and laugh. Okay, so so bad it's good to laugh at. And more of they try to do a story. Like the characters are funny and all that, and they do have some good humor. Just the story not the greatest. So it's not that it's so bad. It's good. It's just as do to speak. People had a. Uh, Maybe more expected more or something. Could be. It's it's full of pictures of you playing a game where a tiny pixel man looks in a trash can at pictures of you. Oh great, great, we're getting fractal. Let me guess. In the dark side, the toilets are shut, but the control room is open. Actually, no. Okay. Um. <laughs> Looking good, Frankie. I think you've let yourself go. Shut up, Reflection. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Should have expected that. <laughs> it's nailed shut, and from the sound of it, for good reason. <laughs> Growling, scratching, banging on door. Uh, I hope that barring holds. This place looks familiar. Either that's a clue, or there is one lazy arse to hang around here. Yeah. And oh, from nothing here. here from... yep. We're getting insulted for being solid again. Yeah. <laughs> so beyond the R. Dooley being a nice guy, Darkseid Dooley is a jackass. It seems to be something stuck in there. That's better. Thanks, um, I mean, flush? <laughs> Plunge? What? Did you, did you just say flush? No? You definitely did. I'm a detective. I don't miss things like talking toilets. Yeah, you got me. I can talk, big whoop. Just do your business and move on. I ain't breaking the laws, cop. 
I'm okay, thanks. A talking, t a talking toilet, eh? And I thought I, ha I had a crappy job. Cut me a break, it pays the bills. Besides, I got dreams, man. I'm gonna be a star. Dreams? I'm gonna be a comedian, man. Wanna hear a joke? As long as they're not too crappy. Everyone's a comedian. Forget it, man. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, let's combine these two. The ultimate accessory in toilet is the bung bungification. Okay, I'm guessing if we do this... Nothing to plunge here. Okay, I was half expecting that if we plunge the toilet here, it would pull the uh, tentacle out of the on the other side. Let's see, don't miss don't out miss on his jokes. Me. He forgives you. Okay. Alright, now we have to see this. <laughs> Seriously, I want to hear one of your jokes. Okay. Why wouldn't Rex bark? He was a goldfish. Back for more? Go on. Why did the guy throw the butter out of the window? He wanted to see a butterfly. That one's better. Okay, that, that was better. <laughs> Can't stay away, can you? One more. What do you call a donkey with three legs? A wonky? No, you call it a donkey. Its physical disability should have no bearing on how you see it, you monster. I, uh, um... Here's one for you. What's green and smelly? It always comes up back to toilet humor with you humans. <laughs> oh look, Mr. Potty Mouth is back, says the literal pot mouth. It was just a joke. I forgive you, ma'am. I'd hate to be a party pooper, but I'm just... I'm here all week. Try to veal. I'm joking, don't try to veal. This is a bathroom, not a fancy restaurant. I'm going now. I don't blame you. <laughs> no, I'm done with this guy. Besides, I have a case to solve. <laughs> Knew it! <laughs> I... Uh, from Cap. It'll make it big. One day. Yeah. One day. <laughs> really? Looks like um, he hung in there for too long. Who doesn't like having keys? Yoink. And what's with this? All system operating cor correctly. Okay. Everything seems to be working correctly here. Let's not touch anything in case I change that. Or the message that it says that it says that is working correctly is malfunctioning. So everything is malfunctioning. A note saying she loads me, she loads me not. Nice healthy relationship. Okay. <coughs> hey. Sorry about that. Oop. What's that you have there? It's it smells of evidence to me, but you shall not take it beyond this place. Looks like I'll have to put this key back until I find some other uh, way to get it past him. Okay. Uh, Dooley, you wanna... Nope. Okay, I think I know what we need to do then. Since he keeps saying that this place is familiar. Let's see, I don't think it will find its way to the other side without a guide. Okay, I think I get it now then. So we go over here. Ow, what? Uh, what? We go over here. Did that just trigger something? Someday you'll be mine, little key. Oh yes, you will be mine. Okay. I'm concerned. About what? What we're going to have to do to get that key? Or uh, Frank's uh, mental state? Yes, yeah, sort of that, like, like they might be turned into a golem. Right, you little sucker. <laughs> Cap sucker! Tentacles, very good! I should be helping, shouldn't I? Yes.
And there they go. Once again, people, especially people who just arrived here, I don't know why my brain goes Scottish when I try to voice act him. If it even is Scottish I'm using, I don't even know. We're call, we'll call it Drakirish. There's my little wriggly buddy. So this is where I sent you, eh? Okay, that confirms it. it. Yeah, I really should look at if I can get, if I can turn those off. Uh, wrong area again. Okay, going. Okay, have a key. Hold on to this for me, will you, buddy? Yes, he will. Now attack! I got a key, I got a key, I got a key. <laughs> when I plunge you, Dave, remember that I plunge you with love. Screw you! Okay. Now all the way back. Yep, locked. Okay. I'll be taking that. Thanks, Dave. Did you name the tentacle, Dave? Don't be jealous, Dooley. You're still my favorite. Great, now Dooley's competing with a freaking tentacle. That seems to have worked. Let's see what's behind door number two. Oh, uh, hello. <coughs> what? How'd you get in? Damn lock that door from the inside. This is your handiwork, I take it? They shouldn't have fired old Tam for sleeping on the job. Told him he, uh, told him he did. His black magic classes started at midnight and ran through. Morning shifts ain't for old Tam. Heavy sleeper he is. Book him duly. I left my book at the station. I can use these handcuffs instead. Yes. Let's see. Get out of there, guy. I've seen what happens if you hang on for too long. What are you talking about? Yeah, I've seen things, Dooley. Have it, do we all? Let's see. <laughs> Stop going through the trash. An unexpected but strangely relevant note. <laughs> Let's see here. Line one, power control system, warning virus detected. Okay. An old floppy disk popped out. This must have uh, this must be how the virus was installed. Could prove useful. Okay, a cursed disk. So now we have to unvirus the computer system. Looks like this place was the scene of some occultic ongoing goings on. The seven candles remind me of Christmas stuff. This is nice. <laughs> Old Tam always was fond of Christmas. Pappy used to buy us all trains and Mama gave us voodoo dolls. Magical time of year. What? Three and a half inches of innuendo laid in evil. Stay here, Dooley, and make sure this guy doesn't get away. But then how is Old Tam meant to escape? That's... that's the point. Aw, well, that ain't fair. Actually, one thing we... I forgot. Detective? Yes? Have we tried turning it off and back on again? Which, the computer? I was going to say the train station, but... What you said makes more sense. <laughs> Maybe we should try turning uh, Dooley's brain off and on again. Uh, it's kind of supposed that that trick usually works. It's no thanks. I don't want Again, to get back out. Usually. Of hmm. Oh. Uh, okay. Back. So, think you can make any sense of this? Let me see. Oh, this is not a cult virus. Yeah, I think it's to blame for all that's going on. I could probably talk you through how to make an antivirus on my machine. That's what I was hoping for. Thanks. So, what do I do? We need to clean the infection disk sec sectors. Sounds easy. Not so easy. It's a virus, so each sector you uh, clean will infect uh, those around it. 
You can also lure the virus from the infected sectors onto clean ones, clean the infected areas. Why would I do that? To beat the virus, you have to make sure it has nothing to hide. It has nowhere to hide. That will involve tricking it. It sounds harder than I was expecting. Don't worry, I've made a backup. Just hit reset if you need me to roll back so you can start again. Thanks. Okay, let's do this. So is it... Yep, it's one of these puzzles. There we go. Yep, master hacker completes <laughs> in three steps. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. Okay, great. And you are sure this will work? Sure is a strong word worth when dabbling with your cults, but I think so, yes. Well, if it does, the city owes you big time. Really? Because I'm only on this train due to a mountain of parking tickets. No, you're not going to be able to bribe your way out of those. Also, I'm pretty sure we're going to be... Yeah, she's smart enough Ooh, to have isolated it. Otherwise, we would have owed her a laptop. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Did you accidentally defeat that damn thing in one try? Um, maybe not accidentally, but I did make good use of the moves. And... You usually struggle with those damn things. Yeah, so I just got lucky. <laughs> okay, that usually takes longer. <laughs> yeah. D d even Cap is on my side here. <laughs> Let's see. Thanks to Raxa, this outdated disc should undo this technomancy mischief. We're just we're just going in. On, we're just going to install Norton antivirus. Uploading antivirus now. There we go. Nope. A lot of people going online. Great work, de 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 Great work, Detective! You got the trains moving again! Dooley, you understand what just happened here, right? So I'm just going to grab my bottle of water. No! Let's get this guy to the cells. Uh, <laughs> how are you gonna get me there? Train ain't running. We just... We just talked about how that uh, was fixed. Weren't you listening? Plus, we have this car. This has not been a good day for Tam. <laughs> or was that supposed to be Tom? Uh, but Tam, I think. Okay, that one was... Okay, maybe I was just being smarter with it, but that one is quite a bit shorter than Tom alone. And police yeah. farce. Let's see. Today is my day away from cases to catch up on paperwork. No oh, great. You're a detective. Hmm? For McNugget's retirement party. A cow terror has arrived with the cake. Grab your gift and let's go. I think it said caterer. Yeah, I misprued as well. I never seen it. Re I never read it out loud. Okay. Gifts? I thought you forgot. Don't worry. I put your name on my gift. It's for us. Yeah, that's that's awfully thoughtful of him. Okay. When all this dark side stuff is put to bed, I'm going to see the whole world. Yep. Dick Brickman. <laughs> this is Twin Legs FM featuring me, Dick Brickman, bringing you <laughs> Dick McNeil presents the weather with me, Dick Brickman. <laughs> if his name is going to be a brick joke, isn't it? It's raining. Tune in later for me, <laughs> Dick, M Dick Brickman, presenting Dick M Brickman's tricky kicks. <laughs> featuring me, Dick Brickman. <laughs> Let's see. I actually don't know what's in there. What's in these? The keys were lost before this became my office. 
think I just dropped my brain somewhere. <laughs> my trusty coat goes with everything uh, from shirt and tie to sportswear. Uh, okay. What? My notes from open cases. The Downton Ghoulieman, a possibly undead flasher. Mirror Jane, a woman, a woman uh, appearing in mirrors to other uh, women who look exactly like her. I think that's just called a reflection. Lycan, <laughs> Lycan Toupee, a wig made from werewolf hair, which turns others into werewolves when worn. Maybe that should be werewolves? This is my life now. This computer has been with me since the beginning. The budget won't allow for an upgrade. <laughs> My folders of weird goings on in Twin Lakes. Wait, Twin Lakes? Yeah. <laughs> Twin Peaks. <clears throat> oh. This was a gift from my old mentor, Sergeant Desk. Hurry up, cake! <laughs> Drink here every time there's a birthday. Ooh. My various attempts to file reports for the things I've seen. And it looks like every sign here looks more like a zombie. Wait, 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 wait. what did he say about the, the paper? Are those on paper reports not being sent in yet? Yeah, those are drafts. Oh. Okay, the uh, many, many uh, attempts of him trying to write things without making it sound like bullshit. Uh, um... I can that... see where the forest part is coming from. I don't remember this place being so run down. A glass of cold, refreshing... Nope, this is warm. And lovely colored. Why is this broken? Maybe the motor is bust? I'll have a look okay, at this later. Nope. Oh, we just pull it out? Okay. Nothing beats that first cup of coffee. If only I had a slice of pie to go with it. For a moment, I thought it was going to give freaking pie. I hope we're going to give you something else. Do you think I'll have my own coffee? No. Let me try that. I'm, I almost just said coffee instead of office there. Do you think I'll have my own office someday? I hope so, buddy. I hope so. The kings. Was the door shaking or no, it's just a fan. What? I think I see what's going on here. They make a joke that there are many cops in fiction that say, uh, uh, have a Mac in the name. Yeah. Let's see. Pottery wheel? There's space in here for a pottery wheel? The king and the chief. I guess these are the photos you get when you're married to the mayor. It's full of signed pictures of McKing figures. Yep. McKing won this for being the best diver on the force. I don't recall anyone else being allowed to partake. Oh, great. It's a Nepo cop. This one looks homemade. Best at not being McQueen. Best hair on the force. Okay, I'll give him that one. Supports backs. Fancy. This machine has an off button. Impressive. Wait, but that thing is running 24-7 in your place? Hey, even old computers had the on and off switch. <laughs> Apparently not McQueen's. This place is fabulous. One day you could be as important as this. You just gotta get yourself that first case. I solve cases all the time. Arresting a giant marshmallow man isn't a case. It's the result of too much coffee. And there we have a Ghostbusters reference again. Too much coffee. What? Hello. Detective Rosinski. Okay, let's go left to right. 
I'm going to tear that cake a new one. What? Seems Murakami has set a new high score in whatever he's, he's playing. Damn it! How am I meant to get better than him? If you keep making me do work, tell me that, eh? It's called free time, Dooley. Use it. Broken wires. Murakami uh, won't care if they're gone. Okay. What are we going to con... What are we making? A blender? Officer Murakami's desk. That guy always has some reason to walk around talking to people instead of doing work. Oh, fire extinguisher. The pressure seems gone. I should fix it before it's needed. Just what the heck are we making? I just remember something. You said the fire extinguisher and your house are old? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Replace them! Definitely. I, and there's oh. one that is either at, older than me or almost just <laughs> a bit younger than me. Wait! From the, yeah. Get rid of that thing right away! The, those things can become dangerous if I remember right, especially older models. I think it's already been dealt with or something, or at least, at the very least, the pressure of it is likely gone. It, it means more than just the pressure that could become a problem. Yeah, the rust and such, or what? I don't think it's an explosive uh, hazard at the very least, otherwise it would be bolts. Nah, actually those things wouldn't bolt, they're too thick, they would just rupture. Yeah, the problem is the foam is not healthy. If it yeah. gets too old, if I remember right. So, it could be a health hazard. Yeah. No talk, working. Friendly as ever, Wozinski. Go away. Detective, the pod is that way. Fine. Uh, uh, fire! You're meant to see surprise detective, not fire. Duly, the gifts are on fire. They sure are impressive. Not in that context, dumbass. Uh, is nobody going to react to that? Where are the sprinklers broken? What's going on here? Did we get moved over to the dark side or something? Duly, there's a fire. <laughs> this body is on fire. Chief Scully. Chief, there's a fire. Here we go. I've told you to detect this before. I can't solve every little thing for you. Honestly, it's... <laughs> I've uncovered a crime ring this and I've lost my gun that with you lot. Well, not today. I'm relaxing and having a drink. <laughs> but... In silence, detective. In silence. I'm going to devour that thing. Hands off, officer. We're not cutting in through it yet. A chief! Really? Is the cake really more important than the fire? Actually, who brought the fire? <laughs> we discussed this last time. No more gifts of fire. Goddamn cops thinking they're Prometheus. <laughs> Can I whip cream? Wait, we have a fire extinguisher. But it has hey, no pressure. I want extra cream on my slice. We just drink it. Uh, let's see. We use the same banner for every retirement. Budgets have to be cut somewhere, detective. Do slash budgets explain why the sprinkler system isn't putting out that fire? That's <laughs> interesting. Why don't you go do some detective in detective? Detecting, not detecting. <laughs> I love all the bullets we have at these things. What about the fuck? Keep your complaining to yourself, Killjoy. <laughs> and McNugget. Was that you or him that he up? That was him. Uh, Two days left to retirement and I'm in a room with an uncontrolled fire. Wait, if, if, if he's two days away from retirement, why are we holding this party now? Or is this his last day of work that he is taking two days off? No, he's the... It's retirement, so he's the lost days. Let's see, just like the old gypsy woman said. 
The gifts are on fire and nobody seems to care. Damn drunken cops. Okay, well, I guess we have to fix this. Let's see. I can 100% say this is not something I expected to do today. <laughs> okay. What? Fix that. What? That's that taken care of. Wait, what's that? That urn. You mean our gift? Tuli, where did you get that? And that mysterious Chinese shop we visited last week. Investigated. We investigated it for gremlins. That seems like racial profiling to me. Dooley, he clearly had gremlins, which you then bought and brought to the station. Well then, case closed. Dooley, the lid was burned off. Oh, crap. Wait, wait you were going to... Huh? You were going to send him off with a, an urn full of gremlins? The gremlins are missing. And the station is crumbling apart. Like I said, Clay... No. Like I said, the case closed. Julie, we need to find them before somebody gets hurt. Here, take this. But... Okay. You can get your own one. A duly receives her item gremlin urn. <laughs> Gremlins? Yeah, oh, like, damn uh, it, all this makes sense. Yeah, for people not knowing, Gremlins is typically... Well, I don't know exactly if the mythology on them, but uh, in mechanics and such, it, when something malfunctions, or malfunctioned back in the days like uh, Second World War and such, uh, people would say that gremlins were causing trouble and such. Yeah. It started in France, <laughs> then actually grew over to uh, USA and other countries. Yeah. Takeout menus. In fact, I'm seeing nothing work related in here at all. It's a party guy, relax. Okay, that explains why everything is going haywire. Hmm. And how do we deal with them? Oh, hello, McKing. And he said, hey, that's my kid's candy. Give it back. So I told him I was the mayor's husband, then showed him my badge and fined him for obstruction of justice. Oh, you're so bad. Great. He's a Nepo cop and an asshole. And what I mean corrupt. with Nepo cop is, yeah, with, what I mean with Nepo cop is someone who got their, uh, their position only through, well, uh, nepotism through uh, family links and such. Like, think of the idiot's uh, deputy or something who g only gets the spot because he, the sheriff is his father or something. Uh, what happened to her legs? Give me a sec. I don't think... Yeah. We need to find those gremlins, Dooley. Okay. I think I forgot to talk to him before that. Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, her her legs are a bit bent. It must be so great for you to have a real detective like my, uh, King around to learn from. I don't have time to talk to you. Isn't there a Wookiee or something you should be harassing? That's not what... Whatever, McLean. Live long and prosper, dork. <laughs> Star Trek Morris and then Star Trek. Let's see... The staff bathroom. So horrible people only enter for the most dire of emergencies. So that's why all the plants are dying. Hands off, McLean. Something's broken the evidence door. Probably you and your idiot sidekick's fault. I'm going to fix it with my manly skills and muscles. If you really want to help, you can fetch me some coffee. No need for sugar. Dallas is enough sweetness for me. Oh, you're so bad. I hate that man. <laughs> but he's so dreamy! Here's your fucking coffee. I knew you were good for something, Midlane. Just be glad we didn't spike it. Actually, we probably should spike the next one. Fix our bathroom break while we're at it. Oh <laughs> dear. Officer Cal. He was meant to be a sniffer dog, but somebody decided to train him only to sniff out candy. 
think of all the candlelit crimes he he's, he's been able to help solve. True, we did have an alarming high rate of candy smuggling in Twin Lakes. Good job, officer. <laughs> and he actually barks. Wait, what? There's nothing in here but laxatives. Somebody put him there to suggest us cops are full of shit. <laughs> Twin Lakes Police Department, how can I direct your call? <laughs> okay, good one there. Now that I need it, I find a, a working fire extinguisher. Hands off, my lunch is in there. Why is it hidden in work files? So nobody here will touch it. You're a wise man, Banks. <laughs> Good one, yeah. That is kind of clever. As long as, long as you make sure it doesn't... Like, like Sammy, don't put an entire slice of pizza between the paper. Like, that's a bad idea. Yeah, just put it in a plastic bag at the very least. <laughs> yeah, or a box. Like you gotta have the paperwork on top of the box. What do you want, detective? Can't you see I've got a, I have a reception desk to reset that? Okay. Uh, uh, hello. Can't talk now, detective. The system's broken and I can't figure out why. Uh, um. If you look to your right... It's the first bit of actual police work I've seen in this place today. Friday evening, 7 p.m., but crime never sleeps. Us, well, we take shifts, and we're off on public holidays. Good detective, rest days, detective. Yeah, I'm presuming there's at least one shift that comes in then? The servers for the TLP. Ah, right, huh? Now. Don't get too close, detective. That thing is a biter. He just... I just got... Yeah, thanks, Dooley. Thumbs up at... Hill? Hmm? You said his name wrong. Uh, who? You just called Dooley Yuli. <laughs> okay. Yummy, yummy wires. It's right to hack the database and steal all human info! We should try him, detective! Interesting idea. Okay, do we use these? If I'm suing, seen doing that, I'll never live it down. Uh, do, do you mean to strangle it with the wires? Okay, I'm guessing we have to sabotage the saboteurs, so... I don't know how much about how all this works, but I know that's not right. It's a mug. A normal run-of-the-mill mug. I don't know why I feel this need to comment on everything in a room. Hmm. I... Wait. You're supposed to put that in... My King's... My King's coffee. Yep, and he's done with his previous one. So, might as well get another cup. <laughs> now we'll see who's full of shit. Uh, keep the keep the coffee coming, McLean. I could drink this stuff all day. Oh, oh no! Get out of my way! <laughs> right, you got achievements. Yep, and. It's for this sort of stuff that I, I did that little, yeah, I put in that little thing. It, you know, simply put, it's a, it's a display capture that I've put, that I've uh, chroma keyed. That I've changed the background that I use when streaming to well be chroma keyed out, so we can see the pop-ups without seeing the actual green and everything. I'm never gonna get used to you say chroma key. For some reason, you're about to throw a, a Dova Kim pun or something. <laughs> I hope he's okay in there. The people of Twin Lakes need a hero to look up to. Who are you exactly? Are you supposed to be a, a secretary or something? Let's see. 
Now to fix this with my manly skills and muscles, but mostly by finding a way to cheat this magnetic lock. Okay. We have quite a few areas to go to still to get more stuff, so let's look around first. Let's see. The hose they use to loop through the cell door uh, handles to lock the place up at night. Uh. <laughs> Dude, Scully really pulled this place into a sort of order, didn't she? I'm, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to lose the freaking locks. Let's see. Uh, hello. <laughs> this guy's in police protection for informing. <laughs> He's a rat. <laughs> we put that up to cover the hole the prisoner dug to escape. Sadly for him, he dug his way into the rest of the station. <laughs> Oh. Try not uh, to toy let your incarceration get you down. <laughs> you uh, skip. You, you actually found that funny. <laughs> no, I found it more funny that he was dis he, he was disappointed with himself for making that joke. Uh, uh Rocky. Detective. I'm going to use my detective ing skills and say you're <laughs> you're in for solicitation. Impressive. It's the guy from the first case, the jackass father. Your guess not his soliciting. <laughs> right. Anyway, hand him over, Roy. Hand over what? Your matches and cigars. I wish I'd never met you, detective. Wait, how did he get in here? I uh, mean, how he got those in here? Uh, uh, like, okay, I need to clarify. What is solicitizing here in this case? Uh, soliciting a prostitute. Uh oh. Did you hear? No, I'm not doing this. <laughs> I just don't find toilets all that funny. And uh, number three. Oh. Hello, Tam. Old Tam um, loves to whittle. Whittle, uh, whittle, whittle. Whittling. Tam, you can't have a knife in prison. Tam can and Tam has. I'm afraid I have to confiscate that. Tam does not... Uh, <laughs> Tam does not have warmth for you in his heart. <laughs> Tam put his name places so he knows what's his and what's not. Seriously, what am I meant to say about them that isn't literally toilet humor? Old Tam ain't got nothing to do uh, uh, no more. Prison is a punishing place. It's meant to be. <laughs> Quit it. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, now I get what? it. He's reacting to getting poked by the cursor. That's what happened earlier. Oh. <laughs> a my spleen. That's actually... Detective, sorry for taking your matches. I'm not so sure that you are. Hey, maybe you should be a detective too. Okay, dead end. Now let's go look around more then. Actually... Can we use the hose on this thing? I'd be out of work if Chief Kelly found me doing that. We can't burn it either, can we kill it? No. Okay, garage. There's a serious rough going from those vents. The bolts probably just need to be tightened up. Okay. Hmm. I guess we could make some sort of a screwdriver with the fan motor if we have a battery or something to power it. Seriously, why does he get all these nice things? Bulletproof sports car. Jerk. Our government issued block with wheels. Well, I think I see what's going on here. If he's the police chief of this station. No, uh, he's not. He's not the chief. He is the... He's married to the mayor. Oh, poor lord. Then it's kind of worse, in a way. Yeah. 
Hmm, this patch's junction box is screwed closed. Hey, detective! Yeah? I think you're a better detective than the king. Thanks, Dooley. That really means a lot. I think you're a better sidekick than Dallas. I don't have a pair of legs, though. No, wait, well, no. I misread that. <laughs> well, no, but if you did, that'd be theft, wouldn't it? Okay, that was a good I one. I read that one. I'm thinking you meant, uh, I don't hurt, have her pair of legs. Yeah. So she's his sidekick. Okay. I used to work in this patch. Until I dispatched the entire force to the chief's house trying to order myself some late night pizza. Wait, what? What? Max was my mentor when I joined the force. That's why they bust me down to desk cop. <laughs> it makes sense. What kind of... What kind... What kinds of cells is this place holding? Human, animal, or vegetable? Vegetables? What? Well, Dooley almost counts as a vegetable. And be right back. I need... I actually need some water now for the... Voice is getting to me now. Okay, I'll wait with talking to him again. Oh, okay, Gremlin's got a freaking gun. <laughs> How did I get a gun? Why is everything so unsafe in this place? Pew pew tee hee. <laughs> Looks like our guys are good enough shots to be stormtroopers. I'm so happy I have my, my wireless headphones on. Just, what the heck, Kill? What? Th th this is what I usually say, don't die, before I walk away from the, the, the computer. And immediately when he steps away, he has gunfire. <laughs> yeah, and gremlins. The junction box, okay. Sprinklers, they're bust. If I want them to work again, I need to fix the system in the basement. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do I throw the hose at it or something? Hmm. Oh, I, I think I know one thing that's going to happen. I'm going to guess that the basement is completely flooded. It keeps hitting that spot while shooting at us. We need something stronger to hide behind. Hmm. Okay, how do we get to the basement then? <laughs> Insights make it stop. Uh, let's see. Yep, whiteboards. It's a donut and coffee rota. <laughs> Important stuff. Hey! was my line. Important stuff! Let's see... Oh hmm. dear. Let's see, can we hotwire this? I think we have all the items we can get our hands on now. There's drawers here. These drawers are full of all sorts of rubbish, like bobby pins. Actually, can I borrow one, Sally? You can have just one. I won't want to it back after whatever you do with it. Smart. <laughs> Good one. Let's see. Hmm. Nice and small for getting into tiny places. Can we use that to open this? No. The pin is too small to pry this open. I need something bigger. The knife? Are you trying to uh, open something like that just using a screwdriver? I've always been more of a lateral thinker. 
Okay, now I just need to find something to rewire this with. Well, we have that. Okay, let's see. Mini game. I need to drag the wires from one node to the other same colored node without crossing them. Let's see then. Okay, if I do that, then that gets blocked around here, so can I undo that? Yes. Hmm. Let's see. This is going to be tricky. And let's I do this. And no. Oh, wait. There we go. Uh, yeah. Yeek! That, that one was called Spike. <laughs> so, yes, the system is back. Yeah, the system is back online. Time to do some hardcore cop work. Okay, that's one dealt with. Okay, in the box you go, or in the pot you go. It's passed out. Let's get it out of here. Okay. Seeing that, I th uh, actually, can we can we do anything with this here? No. Okay. Hmm. Yep. The sound overload knocked this thing out. Or this guy out. Okay. I don't want my colleagues seeing me yet. Okay, you don't want them seeing you drop forcing the gremlin in the in the urn. Okay. So that's the wires done. Let's see, we need to fool this thing. Is there no way? I'm suspecting we need to put these together. Oh, plugging this into here gives me... Yep, a diving helm. Yeah, I guess the basement is going to be flooded, I'm pretty sure. So we're going to need this to get underwater. The question is, how do we even get to the basement? Hmm. So we have these still for something. More matches from Busty Bells. Oh, there's a magnet in here, if I can find a way to... Okay. There. I think we can pry the shell off. Yes. Okay. I, I was thinking we'd need to use that as a screwdriver, but we already used the knife as a screwdriver. A powerful magnet. There. This magnet should reverse the polarity and let me in. <laughs> polarity stuff is bullshit, though, so... Oh, hello. Jump, jump, claw face. It's too dangerous to get near. I need to find a way to knock it out. Uh, let's throw this at it. Nope. Ga oh, knockout gas. This could be handy if I want to be able to leave that party early. <laughs> okay. That would knock me and Dooley out too. I need to find some protection first. Oh, oh that'll work. Dooley, take this hose outside and keep the fresh air coming. <laughs> okay, so no... Uh, no underwater, but we're still using it. Take this, you little monster. Uh-oh. Cramps. Well, it's unconscious. I'll stuff it into my seemingly magical pockets. Well, that was fun. Okay. Let's see. If I had any feelings of guilt for sending McKing on his dirty timeout, I don't ha any longer. Okay. All uh, right, he stuck that on there for the uh, you know, for all the dark side division and stuff. Let's see. I hope this illegal magical tome will be okay in here when the door is busts. Uh, wizard hat. Okay, that one looks more like Rin's wins. All the remains Wait. from the mysterious walking luggage that ate everything. Case <laughs> definitely Rin's wins. Rinswood. Yeah, Rinswood did. Let's see, a plastic skull, a surprisingly more dangerous occult item than a real skull. Oh, good God. You, you must say this name two times. Grins Wind, then gre Grins Wind. The... Oh, bloody heck, alien. What am I to do with you? Not too much, apparently. I can't make that out through oh, this helmet. Okay. 
I'm taking this helmet off before I go out there. No need to walk around the station raising suspicions. We're being made fun of by everyone in the precinct. <laughs> okay, does that mean that the area is... Yeah, it's going to ungas itself. Let's see. <laughs> Roleplay books. Not actually contraband, but dangerous reading nonetheless. But not too dangerous for us weekly... But not too dangerous for our weekly game. Doolish. Did you guys just steal it for yourself? Maybe. Or they're just hiding it over here. Let's see. A box of odd socks. Our best people are looking into a ring of crooked washing machines that, that are left behind the, uh, the, that are behind the robbery of the, uh, their other halves. A king's topless self-portrait. She signed them in, in, in for the crime of being too awesome for the general public. Boxes of jam jars with one scoop taken out. From the unsolved scooper case, where they'd appear at crime scenes after investigations had started. <laughs> Duly? That was me. I like eating toast while I think about always forgetting to bring the pot with me afterwards. So I kept opening new ones harmless. Duly, we spent a lot of taxpayer money, <laughs> taxpayers' money investigating that. Harmless! Uh, that's... No. Yeah, Jars full of seamen from the mysterious the... figurine sailor case. Uh, oh, good gods. So if we interrupt them? Yeah, I was more interrupting you. So what, you, what are we going to say? I will say... say Duly should have informed that way earlier. Yeah. Hundreds and hundreds of tiny hats. A man made them to keep mice warm during the winter, but the mice turned out to be a gang of robbers, so we confiscated them. What? what? Uh, let's see. The very noisy kids game. A, a very noisy kids game. That's not evidence. I'm hiding it from Murakami until I beat his top score. <laughs> of course. Huh? Who do you think wrote these dumb scripts for a comedy game about two cops investigating weird gay crime crimes? Nothing, nobody. Shut up. What? <laughs> How did that thing ever get in here? This room is meant to be locked down. Um, I'm just shocked you see them. Like, see and understand them. Uh, let the green man in the city. No. Uh, let the green man in that uh, station right in my ballpark. I'm just shocked you're talking. I'm just shocked you're taking it so well. This is a world apart from your, your normal, boring cop life. Okay, I guess that explains somewhat that they can't actually see them. <laughs> Okay, there's a small difference in them with the hair there. Um, okay, that is two out of three that we know of. So we need something to use as a shield to get the, the one with the pistol. We'll just say that uh, Dooley was playing with the gun to excuse all of this. Shield, you say? That's a good aim. We should get it on the force. Or do we just throw the... Ah, Graham's Batman stuff in pants, pew pew. <laughs> Good smelly spike, pew pew. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay, what could we use? Let's see. What do we use the matches on? Not the sprinklers. Yeah, since they're broken. If I want to do that, I need to get them Wait. back up and running. Oh. Uh, it's probably what we need to do, but... Where do we sprinkle lead? Where does they get the water from? Good question. If we can solve that... We... 
<laughs> my insides make it stop. Hmm. Okay, I might need a bit of a tip as to where to go with this, because I'm pretty sure we've seen every room there is now. Let's start from the beginning again. Let's see, something has a shield or something. Or fix these sprinklers. Wait. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. We are not to use sprinklers on that thing. We are not to use sprinklers on our gremlin. <laughs> Now, I think it's already in bat mode. Uh, you don't know what happens when your gremlins get wet, do you? Uh, well, when they're furry and get wet, they turn into the green uh, scaly version, I believe. When they're scaly and get wet, they multiply. Okay. Actually... Yeah, the wet does not turn into monsters. Wet water makes them multiply. Eating of the midnight turns them into monsters. Let's see, something needs to be done with this air vent. Hmm. Oh, I almost forgot to check that picture you sent me. Yeah, oh, let's see. Nice uh, hat. Uh, Cap, do you have a hint for where for what I need to do? Because I think I'm out of stuff. Let's see, I'm glad that's fixed at least. Hmm. Let's see, I got you. Oh, Cap got you. Cap got you. I might be able to help here then. Hmm. Yeah, we... Let's see. Let me see what, what's missing. I have the matches, I have two of the gremlins, I've used the diving trophy, the tube, the knife, uh, the wires. Hmm. Yeah, we need to get this one th still, and we need to fix the sprinklers. So I'm guessing there's a fourth gremlin at work here. So... Yeah, I don't know what else there is to do. There's something with this air vent as well. Dispatch server? You may need something in the dispatch server. Okay. Uh, yeah, we, we, yeah we, we did the magnet thing. You probably missed something near the dispatch. I thought you did the magnet. All right. We got the bobby pin and used that to get the magnet. Hmm. Let's see. Can't talk now, detective. The system's back online and there are people who need our help. Let's see. Hmm. Is there anyone who needs matches? Like, I'm presuming we need to set up the sprinklers with it. Uh, usually it's the bobby pin, no... Then we need to do stuff in the garage. Okay. Oh! I completely missed this. Okay. Water pipes. The water pipes run all over the station from the briefing room to the shooting range. But the system seems broken right now. Probably the Gremlinson's fault. Okay, I, I completely missed uh, looking for other areas down here. I thought it was a dead end. Some spare pipes from the works that's been happening. A pot of clay. A lump of cold hard clay. I have no use for this right now. Do we need to melt that and make something with it? Uh, yeah, sometimes it is that simple. I never borrow this. Why not? <laughs> you can't just you can't see me getting back to work anytime soon. Okay, a monkey wrench. We can use that on the vent. You don't look very busy. Power tools bust, so Union says I don't work. Not my place to go against Union. You seem familiar. Do I know you? Not that I know of, no. A Gary Plinkman. Okay. Oh, wait. Go back and look between these characters and that guy. Practically the same with the face, only has a little wait. bit more hair down. 
but especially with Dooley. <laughs> Dooley, did we find a cousin of yours also before I forget? Oh, they're building a gym down here. I they like to work out while I'm bunking off work. Dooley. I... What did he mean? When he's uh, slacking off. It's a tool for adjusting bolts of various size. <clears throat> Nothing to do with monkeys or fire hydrants. <laughs> now, now I'm reminded of uh, the literal monkey wrench in Monkey Island that one time. Oh, good God. <laughs> the gremlins have broken everything else around here. I'm sure that if I don't, you know, didn't remove that, it'd fall off soon anyway. Neither of us believes that. But I'm so into this. Fight the system! Truly, we're part of the system. Speak for your... <laughs> Speak. Speak for yourself! I'm putting this place down from the, that, from the inside. It's through sheer incompetence. I... I kind of knew that. It... <laughs> Oops. I did not expect that to happen. Being bad about it? No. <laughs> and also, that's tradition. Let's say the vent broke because some maverick cop was crawling through it. Okay, but why did we want to do that? Other than screw with McKing's car. Let's see. No. Hmm. Oh. Oh. I'll take this for my trophy cabinets. I mean, I'll take it to be repaired. Yeah, that second one. Oh, yeah. Detective, how do you. Detective, how do you get all these things into your pockets? Origami? Again, since that thing is bulletproof. Let's see, he's too far uh, he, he's too far to hit with this. I'll need to find another way to make use of this. Yeah. Hit? Let's see, I just have to angle it like this. Yep. Great, the junction block is broken and electricity is spraying out. As if this place wasn't broken enough already. Uh, yeah, okay. I don't think that was what you wanted to do. Actually, now... I... Here's the thing. Yes, Gravis multiply with water, but... If you electrify the water, they will die. Or I'll like, melt. So we still need to set up the sprinkler somehow. Yeah. Hmm. This is probably good to... For if you turn on the sprinklers... Before the electricity, you will have a much bigger problem. Yeah. Hmm. Ah. Let's get the water flowing again, in case another fire starts. Yep. Water pipes run all over the station. Yep, we saw that, but the system seems broken. Yep. Let's... Okay, this time we just turn these. Let's see, let's work a bit backwards. Yep. There we I go. Just remember something. Hmm? If, if we finish at least the Clone Wars series, we should watch the Gremlin series. And there was that recent one with the Chinese style or something, or Korean style, something yeah, like that. Yeah, animated one. Okay. For that yes. the people seem to like it. Okay. You'll have me out of work, you will. <laughs> okay, oh, that was dear. simple enough. Okay. This should achieve something. That was a shocking way to wrap this up. Are you proud of that pun? More than I should be. <laughs> I can hear that in your voice. So... Let's see, it does seem like a really bad idea just to get rid of a goblin, yeah? Finally, Dooley, grab the gun and I'll take this guy. Just don't get uh, shocked yourself. Okay, let's get back to the office before somebody sees us. 
Okay, let's lock these suckers into their new urn and get back to that party. Party! Okay. In you go, sleepy monster. Back to captivity, my monstrous pal. Welcome home, lit. Too late! <laughs> Oops. Oops. Is that it? What do we do now? Flush them down the toilet and go back to the party. We need to make a new urn. A magical one that can actually hold them. Uh, you got gremlins again. Okay. Oh, that has why we need the clay. Yep. Tumbleweeds. Ahem. <clears throat> Okay, I think we're at the edge of this case now being done, oh, so... Uh, I'm, time's up. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just quickly see if I can grab the, the clay. This is good urn making material, yep. Then we go to McKings. Clay, yep. There, it's too dry to use. Okay. Wait. Okay, let's soften that up. <laughs> I was thinking about going to the sprinklers, but no. Okay, let's do this. But they know how to make your urn. I watched that film, Ghost, a lot. For research. Okay, we have an urn now. Let's see, I should stick it to my parents' fridge somehow. Okay, can we put them in there? Okay, how can we enchant it? Oh, actually, we I think I know how. Because we have access to a magic book. Maybe there will be instructions here for sealing magical urns. Okay. Let's see. Warding ritual, spell to bypass doing the dishes, and ah, a diagram for how to seal magical urns. Handy. Time for something in crafting of runes. Okay, magic. Oh, that's simple. One down, two down, and it's that done. Thank goodness. Let's get this somewhere safe. Yeah, right here. Okay, lock fixed and gremlin stashed away. Uh, what have we learned from this dually? Oh, not to eat so much sugar. I'm crushing now. I don't really remember much of what happened. But I'm sure it was nothing important. Now let's get back to the party. Which I'm guessing is, yep. <laughs> Hey, where... Hey, where's all the cake gone? We ate it all. Why is this place a mess? What did you two do? Well, there was... And, uh, we... Somebody let off a glass grenade. That's the big pointy teeth. The car was smashed when we got there. The king did it. Uh, another one to file on their dark side antics. Probably for the best, yes. Okay, well, you two better start cleaning. The budget doesn't allow for both your capers and custodial staff. Chores and a cake. This day did not play out the way I hoped. <laughs> and cats, the case closed. <laughs> okay. And the we next finished, case is Loch Ness. We, we technically finished three cases today, but two of them be started today and finished on the same day. Yeah. Okay. Well, now that that is done, let me exit the game and we can go look for someone to raid. So let me bring this up. Twitch, oh, change the throat. screen share. <laughs> my fr Last time I did his voice, it was fine. Yeah, but Dude, now it was longer. Yeah, and he had more dialogue this time. Let's see. We have Starnak, who is playing Persona 3 Portable. Puffle, who is just chatting. Let's see. Buying GBAs to mods. Touching grass. Uh, let's take a peek. What are they up to? Uh, oh, they're on their pre-stream. They just hit nine minutes. Isaiah Rozier is playing Pseudo Regalia. Kiri Natsuyoko is playing Clone Hero. 
<laughs> Thank you for the follow, Kef. Kef follow a one or Kef. <laughs> hope, I Thank hope you, you enjoyed the show. And yeah, hope you'll enjoy it in the future as well. Yeah, man, uh, one more this evening. Yeah. Let's see. WBPL is playing Ghostbusters the video game. Fitting. Uh, let's see, Kev. Was fun. See you around. Okay, see you next time. Uh, we are, like Drakir said, we have another stream today in about three hours ish. We'll be finishing up with Dustin the Legion Tale and be starting the Count Lucanor, which I am curious about. Uh, let's see. Reverend Raccoon is playing Cyberpunk 2077. Horatius the Dwarf is playing Fear and Hunger 2 Termina. And that's about it. Any of those or anyone else? Ghostbuster or Fear of Hunger 2? And again, I Fear of Hunger 2 defense is made by a Finnish developer. And we have that information correct this time. Okay. Well, let's copy. Let's go to WB since, well, <laughs> Ghostbusters. <laughs> slash raid and paste but before we started of course thank you everyone who has been watching now or later thank you careful uh, and uh, pyrosu for watching and for the follow and thank you as always to here you're welcome as always my friend and thank you all for joining and yeah like i said second stream today after dinner in about three hours and yeah tomorrow uh, is it a showcase week or i think it is or is it? Hmm. I'll have to double check the. It week. might be showcase on. Wait, were we able to do sh the? Were we able to do it the, the last week in the afternoon? Hmm. Good point, actually. On that, I'll have to. Wait. I'll have to no, double no, check. No, you, were, you were not. You were away. You were away for the bunker thingy. All right. Yeah. All uh, right. So not showcase then. Yeah, we could do it as a catch up, but yeah. Yeah, uh, it, we'll it, throw it, a coin or something. <clears throat> uh, what yeah. did you have to say that? So, okay, Sunday tomorrow, we're, you know, most likely, uh, where we'll be trying out some games for later streaming, and uh, hopefully L.A. Noir in the evening tomorrow. For <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. well, now, let's get that raid started. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. Now, until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for haunted seagulls and gremlins. And Dooley, especially Dooley. Aye, he does his best.